So now let's talk about flow control. So in C programming, whenever you want to go for flow control, we have to use, uh, so we have two things in, we, uh, we have branching statement and we have loops. So we start with branching statement and then move, we'll move towards loops. Now when we talk about branching statement, so we can achieve branching with the help of if else. So let's say you want to execute some, you want to check a given number is even or odd. So let's say we have a value which is uh, int i equal to 2 or maybe let's say 6. So I want to check if the number is even or odd or well, now why even odd, we'll, we'll go for even or odd later. Let's say I want to check if the given number is greater than 10 or not. So if 6 is greater than 10 or not, so 6 is smaller than 10, right? But how will you check? So to check something, we'll simply say if, then we have to apply a condition. So in if, we have to apply a condition which is if i is less than or greater than, let will check greater than. So if i is greater than 10, if that is the case, so we'll execute this block. So this is the block which will be executed if this is true. If it is false, it, this will not execute. So if I write a statement here, so I will say print f and let me print uh, yes. I will say greater simply. Okay. So if I print greater, which simply means 6 is greater than 10. Okay. But that's not the case, right? So it will not print anything. So if I run this, it will not print anything. Simple. But let's say if I change the value from 6 to 16. So if I make from 6 to 16 and if I run this, you can see the output is greater. Simple. So this if will check if the given condition is true or false. Since 16 is greater than 10, it will print, it will execute this block, otherwise it will not execute the block, as we have seen for 6. So for 6, it will not execute the block, that's why we are printing nothing. But let's say we want to print something. We want to print if this is greater than 10, or if it is less than 10, will execute something. So that something will be else. So if not if, then what? So it is else. So in else, we can use a printf and we can double quotes, we can mention it's smaller. Okay. So, and if I run this now, so it will print the else part. I also want it on new line. So we'll say slash n and slash n. Okay, so if I run this code, it will print smaller. So if this condition is not true, which is false, it will execute the else part. Okay, so that's how we achieve a branching statement using if. But let's say we want to, yeah, we'll see back, uh, we'll see remaining in the next tutorial.